it's been really super cold here in New England. Um, it's about negative five to maybe a high of 15 degrees for the what seems like the past two or three weeks. So it's just been too cold to do anything outside besides, you know, pray that your car starts. Anytime your car starts is a good day. Well, today is almost like 55, which is really weird. I mean, it just feels awesome. So I figured I'd do a quick video on my 2016 Harley Iron 883. It just seemed like a good day to do it because it's almost 60. And we've got snow piles here. So it's kind of funny doing a bike video with the snow in the way. But uh, yeah, it's just going to be like a quick walk around, talk about what I did to it. And that's about it. Definitely not going to ride it today. Too much salt and sand. Okay, so this is a 2016 Harley Davidson Iron 883. I've got the Harley Daymaker headlight with the smoked front turn signals and the LEDs inside that are switched back. They have, um, I'll show you later, but they have like a white ring around them and then the amber turn signal. Have the forward controls, uh, the Harley burst pegs. The Harley, I forget what they call it, it's like a two-tone shifter peg along with the matching grips here. I've got 28-inch drag bars with a 4.5-inch pullback. Um, Joker machine top clamp right there. And I have like a, a replica Joker machine speedometer relocator. It, I got it from Amazon, it was like... 35 bucks um, I typically don't like to do replica stuff but this had really good reviews and when I got it I mean the quality is really really good and I just don't see the point of spending $130 for the same thing from uh, Joker Machine I have a JB Sporty um, coil relocation kit and ignition relocator I did the wire tuck and a 2 inch tank rise have the figure machine derby cover. It's a little foggy right now because it's kind of condensation out today. But you can see all the oil and stuff. And when the clutch is working, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but uh, so you can see the clutch cable in action. Pretty cool. I've got the. The Harley uh, swing arm leather bag comes in handy because the Sportster really has uh, nowhere to put anything. I mean, not even your registration or anything. So it's a nice bag to have. You know, throw a drink in there, registration, uh, grab a burrito, throw a burrito in there. Moving on to the back, I have the smoked lenses in the back as well, same as the front. Um, these are red LEDs in the back. They're super bright, way brighter than what came on there. Um, the plate frame is stock. I don't know if it was new for 2016 or 15, but, you know, it's LED and it swings back. I keep it like that when I'm putting it in the garage. Save a little bit of room. Don't catch your leg on it. Vance and Hines Short Shots Exhaust. I'm going to be changing that out soon. I did order a uh, Two Brothers Comp S 2 into one uh, It should be in soon. These are just a little bit, just too loud for me. I mean, I hate to sound like an old person, but, um, they're, they're really harsh, and they don't really add, I don't think, as much power as it should. A 2 and a 1 would do a much better job at being useful. And I also have the Harley Heavy Breather Air Intake. And the Roland Sands Designs um, sprocket cover. as the uh, forward controls. Uh, a lot of people don't like forward controls. Um, I think it just made the bike way more comfortable because it is a small bike. And then right here, I don't see too many people have. It's the uh, Codlin seat. No, the Codlin Signature Design seat from Mustang. Um, it's really comfortable. I've had about, oh, I don't know, three or four different type of seats on here. The stock one. I had the Biltwell Sporty 8. The, what is the Harley, um, oh, what's it called? They say it's super comfortable, it's like a cushion, but it kept pushing me too far forward. But uh, this, this seat's really nice. I mean, it's really low profile, which I like. It um, kind of keeps 
the bike looking sleek. Um, you get this nice Alcantara two tone, and it's you know even though it's thin, it's surprisingly comfortable. And it just does not make the bike look, you know, too fat or anything. The coil relocation and the uh, ignition key relocation just really made it nice and cleaned up. Um, the wires I use are Screaming Eagle wires. I basically had um, the orange wires when I had the factory location on there. Um, but I needed another short-sided one since the other side was too long. I think it was the rear cylinder that was too long. Um, so I just went to the deal. I bought another kit and just took one wire out of it. Uh, I had really no other choice. I wanted the wires to match, and I really like the wires. It gives a nice contrast from all the black and gray. Oh, I also have the um, the Harley um, tack with the digital speedo. You can also change the colors on it. It's like 200-something different colors, designs, or something like that. I think it's like 255. <laughs> the Harley Daymaker headlight. Huge difference over stock. And also I got rid of the, uh, the silver trim ring, or the retainer ring. Put a black one on there. Makes it look a lot better. Oh, and also I cut off the uh, little rubber covers that go on here. Kind of look like an accordion. Thought those look kind of stupid. And the turn signals. Let's see how it's got the parking light. Then does a switch back to the amber, and then back to parking light. The rear. I mean, the camera really doesn't do them justice. They're really just super bright. And those also function as blinkers. And brake lights as well, obviously. Uh, like I said, stupid low. Alright guys, that'll pretty much do it. Uh, throw this thing back in the garage. And we'll see it again in April sometime when the roads are clear. Um, my next video is probably going to be about my gauges on my car. Um, someone was asking about it, so I'll do a real quick video on how I installed those, uh, what kind of gauges they are, where I got the gauge pod, stuff like that. So um, stay tuned for that. Also, check out my friend Tuner Army on his channel over there. Really funny guy. Uh, great videos, good content. He's got a lot in store coming up. Um, I know he's working on his Evo. Uh, he's going to probably sell that soon, get something a lot better. So I'll uh, see you next time. Mm -hmm.